Okay, here we have the whistle. Pat win. Sounds like a rip off a of beach win, probably because it is. Um, this is a 29er. Um, it's a for you know mid range sort of market, so it's competing with things like the beach between the 520 and things like that. Um, or the Carrera Hellcat, those kinds of bikes. Um, so we have aluminium frame, of course, which is fairly standard. Drinks bottle holders down here. We have the 24 speed gear system, Pat running by the Shimano Acera derailleur on the rear. It's an SIS derailleur on the front. They have hydraulic disc brakes. We have a, foot, we have a uh, pretty beefy seat post on the rear, so there's not going to be much flex there. However, as we get to the front, things get worse. Things get much worse. We have an SR Suntour XCT, and as soon as you hit a bump, it pretty much goes on strike. Um, so inside here we have a coil spring and not a whole lot else. This is like a threaded bolt on top here. And the lock, best feature on this thing is the lockout. So when I have the fork, the bike, like this, I can move the lockout around. So that's unlocked, that's locked. So now I'm going to sit on the bike as if I was riding it. There's one pedal on there. And I can't move the lockout lever. So what? So you can't change the lockout or lock the fork out when you're riding the bike. You have to get off the bike, then lock out the fork. What the hell? <laughs> That's hilarious. Um, it's not a hydraulic lockout, it's mechanical. On the upside we have wide bars. On the downside they appear to have been fitted upside down or have to be shaped for an alien because um, they're sloping downwards, not upwards, downwards. Of course, we have the Shimano hydraulic disc brakes, the Shimano 8 speed shifters. The bike comes with the Schwabel Smart Sam tyres, which are not bad. And the uh, hydraulic disc brakes are on centre lock, centre lock rotors at the front. Which means instead of six bolts, there's a one singular nut in the middle to get the uh, disc brake off. The wheels on this thing are nothing special. They're your bare bones. Bare bones 29er wheels on Shimano hubs, so at least there's name brand hubs. There's no reinforced spoke eyelets on here to protect the uh, rim against uh, being hit and damaged because the spoke can pull, so the spoke could pull through the rim, and that's the end of your wheel. If that happens, you need to buy another wheel um, or try and true it without with one missing spoke. I mean, this bike new was somewhere around um, 350 pounds. And for that, the actual Carrera and the B-Twin offerings would have been a bit of a better deal. We also have a straight head tube, which for about the time when this was manufactured is about standard. No gussets or anything under here, and there's quite a lot of space here, so that's a bit of a stress raiser. The welding, we have a crater crack. Well, not a crater crack, but there's a crater. And there could be a microscopic crack on here, so the welding's not the best. This is quite neat, until we get to sort of here. If you can see that, there's a bit of burn through by the looks of it. There's a stop start right there. Now if I was welding this, I would weld it up and over and do a stop start underneath if I could. Um, depends, you might just run out of filler wire and be caught short, so to speak. But yeah, that concludes this video on the Whistle Pat Win, which is quite a nice looking bike overall, if a little bit overpriced when it was new. On the used market, they can be had relatively cheaply and are not too bad of a deal. That concludes this video.